Hello, smartest artists. It's Miss Puckett here showing you how to make a Zen Tangle. Now, a Zen Tangle is a very nice, meditative, chillaxed kind of doodle drawing that you make that got really popular once people started thinking about mindfulness and connecting their brains to their body and being calm and you know being in control of themselves so uh, Zen Tangle is a nice relaxing very forgiving kind of art so if you feel nervous about making mistakes Zen Tangle is the art for you because even if you make a mistake it doesn't matter it's hidden nobody will ever see it so let me show you the steps to Zen Tangle it's pretty easy first off usually Zen Tangles are made with something black so depending on what materials you have at home um, I recommend a extra fine sharpie or you know a skinny marker um, if you have Crayola markers at home those will work just make sure you're working on a bigger piece of paper because it's got a bigger tip on it and uh, if all else fails you know black color pencil works just fine uh, you could also just use a normal pencil if that's all you got at home uh, but for me I prefer to work with the skinnier marker so this one is the one I have uh, then you're going to need to decide what you're going to draw on. Now you can change the sizes of your paper. So if you have like a super skinny Sharpie, you can make a super small piece of paper. If you got a really big Sharpie, you could use a really big piece of paper. Um, I personally like to work on square. So I'm going to um, fold my paper into a square. So just take the edge and fold it towards the top so you get a nice even line right there and now I'm gonna try not to fold it too much I'm gonna mark that line right there with my pencil this is so hard when you're trying not to get a crease and now ah, I got a little bit of a crease that's okay let's flatten it out a little bit I'm going to cut on that line I'm not 100% sure why people like to do squares and tangles, but it seems to be the most popular. All right, so now that I have my square piece of paper, I'm ready to tangle. Now, the basic thing is you start with an outline. If you check our Zen Tangles inspiration sheet, you can see people use like pineapples for outlines, elephants for outlines, flowers for outlines. You could have anything be your outline. I'm going to kind of do like a tile outline with um, just kind of some wavy lines here. So I'm going to like mark my four corners where I want my lines to go. And then I'm going to connect them. Now this, what I'm showing you, is kind of the very basic Zen Tangle you can possibly do. So if you want a little more challenge, if you want a little more inspiration, check out that inspiration sheet or you can uh, just Google Zen Tangle and, you know, billions of things pop up because it's such a popular kind of art form. All right, now that I have my outline all done, I want to divide my workspace into a bunch of sections. Uh, depending on what size you have, um, you know, you don't want any pieces that are too small. You don't want any that are too big. I would say I would probably divide this into about 11, 10, 11, 12 spaces. Um, in order to work. So it could be any kind of lines you want to. They can be straight lines, diagonal lines, curved lines. You can get a loop-de-loops in there. And your line doesn't have to go corner to corner. You can also divide your spaces with little lines. But this part is fun. Just do what feels right. There's no right or wrong to Zen Tangles, which is why I like them so much. All right, these look good. This one still looks a little big, so I think I'm gonna divide that one right there. All right, let's see how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, what'd I tell you? Between 10 and 12 usually looks good. 
All right, so I've done my outline, I have divided my shape, and now it's time to fill and rotate. Now, um, I did include in the instructions a lot of patterns in order to help you with your Zen Tangles. If you don't like any of those patterns, just type in Zen Tangles patterns into Google and you'll see a ton more patterns. Um, you can use basic patterns like polka dots, checkers, stripes. Um, you can turn, you know, your letters of your name into a pattern, numbers of your favorite sports people into patterns. You can turn anything into a Zentangle pattern. So uh, let me show you a couple. One important thing is that once you are done filling a section, you rotate your paper and that helps give a nice balance to your Zentangle. So let me start up here. I'm just gonna do like a funky abstract pattern in this one. make it look like warped or something. Like a fun house mirror. And then I'm gonna fill that in like every other one. So it's a little bit dark. So let's see, black, black. Hmm, what am I gonna do? All right, I think I'll start in the middle and fill this one in black. Um, if you have large places you wanna color in, you know, switch back to that bigger marker that way you get, um, make your job easier. It's hard to fill in little tiny spaces with a little tiny marker, or big spaces with a little tiny marker. The opposite is also true. All right, that one looks funky, I like it. So now I am going to rotate and pick my next space. Now, what I like to do usually is like, if this one has a lot of black in it, I like to make this one be more white. So for this one, especially like I got straight lines here, so maybe now I'm gonna do like little polka dots. And fill this guy up. Now the nice thing about doing like lots of patterns and having an artwork that's complicated with a lot of spaces is that if you make a mistake in one of them, it's kind of camouflaged with all the action going around in it. All right, so that one is, looks mostly white. It does have some black in it, but it looks mostly white. So now if I look at this one, maybe I want this one to be mostly black. So let's see. Maybe I will do, I know you guys know I don't love drawing flowers, but maybe I'll do something a little flowery in this one. I actually don't know what kind of flower this is. But I swear I've seen it before. A lupin maybe? Kind of looks like a crazy grown out asparagus to me. Or maybe it really doesn't exist and I'm just inventing a new one. That's fine too. I think that if like a stranger saw my artwork, they would know that this is some sort of nature inspired one and they would know what I was making. All right, so I'm actually gonna color in the negative space of this one all black. So this actually stretches up in here. So I'm gonna start in this corner and color it all in black. Zentangles are really nice to do, especially if you're like listening to an audiobook, listening to a podcast, listening to some music. It's just like a nice, calm doodle. You don't have to be that good of a drawer in order to do it. As long as you can make a pattern, you can make a Zentangle. all I can do with my big black marker. So I'm gonna switch back to my little marker. Now I'm gonna go in and 
color these little hard to get areas. Now, if you haven't seen it already, go back into the art choice board and check out the other supplies, the other materials for the Zentangle choice and the choice board. I have a how to make them document that's got a ton of patterns in it. And I also have an inspiration Google Doc that has um, examples of different artists and different artworks for Zentangles that they've made. So there's like a cool one where somebody Zentangles a pineapple. There's some cool silhouette ones in there. So you can go check that out to get inspired to see uh, what kind of Zentangle you want to do. The Zentangle that I'm doing right now is like a call it a tile so you're just kind of drawing in a square I've seen some people make like a lot of tiles and then combine them together to make well it looks like a quilt blanket which is pretty cool all right now I have a mostly black one so I'm gonna rotate again and this one I'm gonna make uh, mostly white, but since I did kind of a nature theme, I'm going to do a line theme, like something with straight lines instead of curvy lines here. So oh, maybe I'll just do some basic stripes. Again, don't go crazy. You know, you don't need a ruler to make your stripes. This is just kind of low key doodling like what you would do in your notebook in math class. Just kidding, Miss Minky. All right, got some shapes. All right, so that's the basics of Zentangles. Outline your shape, divide it into some different sections, and then fill each section with a different pattern. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of this in Fastmo. You guys enjoy, and don't forget to upload your pictures to your choice board so I can see them. Happy arting. Thank you.